All right, guys, Thomas back here for another video. Today, guess what we're making? just in case we would lose electricity uh, to keep the house cool. So today, we are making a portable air conditioning system. Okay, so the parts that we have here are fairly cheap. All we need is a, uh, a cooler, very cheap. These uh, go anywhere from a dollar to, I don't know, I saw some for 18 to 20 bucks, probably more expensive. Uh, you can use your more permanent sturdy cooler or as I have here is a foam temporary cooler. Uh, pretty much a drain, garden drain for your house. A marker and some knives and a fan. So cooler, as I said, between one and who knows, 30, 40 bucks. This is five bucks, this was five bucks. For this setup, I need only one drain. So five bucks for one, and this fan cost me, I think, this fan, I don't remember, maybe five to 10 bucks. This one is very, very convenient or very special just because there's a lithium ion battery in here. It's rechargeable and uh, it can last five hours. But the most important point is that this one also has a USB input here. So I can either recharge it with a USB or I can power this fan with a, a micro USB um, from a computer, laptop, or even a, uh, a battery bank. So that can increase your use, your range. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I'll put this to the side, is determine where you wanna put your vent and where you wanna put your fan. Um, usually these things are usually flat. I could use this side here. Um, it would work as well. Let's see if that can work. I'll still use the top side. This dog is chewing on my feet. Alright, so I'm not going to use this one. I'll leave this one for later. Although it's pretty cool. It's a little scoop here so that filtered air can come out. Pretty neat. But I won't be using it. So I'll be using this one. This one is also pretty cool because there's some little uh, edges here. When I put it in there, it's going to stay sturdy, but uh, it's a little too short. This one is more maneuverable. Um, it's longer. I can go 90 degrees like this or further or up or curve. So I'll be using this one instead. So I figure I will put my fan, I don't know if you can see it over there, Somewhere around here. I'll put it this way, so just put it this way. Um, for right now, this looks appropriate. And I can also put my duct in here as well. And that should be fine. It seems like any way I put it, it will still work. Because this has a little micro USB here, I will probably put it this way. So let's see here, that's doable, that's doable. I am first gonna mark and cut out the uh, circle of diameter for my fan. This is very convenient as well because there's a little indentation right here. Uh, it's a little bit smaller here than the actual diameter of the fan, so that's going to fit pretty well. Okay, so I'm going to mark my circle and get busy. There's a dog under the table. It's sleeping now. It's like a little baby. It is a baby, actually. It's only, it's only two months old. So I'm going to mark the cutout for my fan here.
Okay, so here's the uh, mark or the template for my fan. So I brought two knives here. I brought a sharp utility knife just to get the uh, get the hole started, and then use the kitchen knife. My mom would kill me if I was using her knife. So that's my knife, and then uh, and cut it. So I believe the diameter is pretty close, so I don't have to be too careful. But I'm going to cut a little bit inside of the circle just in case. There's a saying for the uh, carpenters, measure twice, cut once. All I know is that if I make it too big, I can't make it smaller. But if it's small, I can make it bigger. So that's a good practice. this through and I should be fine because I can yeah there it is alright this is a little bit too small but as I said I made it smaller so I can almost go larger if I want to That's pretty sturdy. All right, now all I have to do is make a hole for my piping here. Should I use this one? Man, I'm still torn. All right, let's mark it. Boom! Done! There's your second hole here for your ducting, your output, if you want to call it that. Make sure I cut myself. And let's get busy. It actually works. I'm gonna put the fan over here. It's actually balanced. All right, so step one, measure and mark your fan position. Cut it out, cut the foam out. Step two, measure and mark, then cut your diameter for your ducting, and that's it. Step three now, woo! All right. There's my uh, cooler here. All you do is put this on. And eventually, I might actually tape it, but it stays on pretty good. Just so that it has a tight seal. And all you're doing here is taking air from the input here, forcing it into your cooler. It's a sealed container. And then the air comes out to this part right here. So let's uh, see if that works. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, I can feel the breeze. All right, so right now all this device is doing is taking the air from outside here in this house, which is around 75 degrees, going in the cooler and blowing it back out. So the temperature here should be the same temperature out here. So now how to make this an air conditioning is to put some cold materials in here. Uh, today I'll be using uh, ice. We did make extra ice for the hurricane. That's just me being prepared. So instead of buying ice, I just uh, made ice three to four days in advance of the hurricane. And all you do is put the ice in here. Should I do it? I don't want to waste it. Trust me, it works. I'll put the ice in the bag. Typically you just take the ice out of the bag, put it in 
the cooler. Make sure your cooler is sealed, which it is. Put my fan on high. And we have cold, actually it feels cooler actually. You have cold air. So you can put this in your room. You can put this directed at your face, to your bed. Um, in my case, I was gonna put it in the living room so or in our bedroom before we go to bed. Let's put it on. And I said this battery lasts five hours. If you use a battery bank or a USB charger, you would have more hours than five. Um, and that's it, pretty simple. Um, probably doesn't look special, but when you're in a pinch and it's hot outside, or hot in your house, I will take this easily. Let me know what you think. If you want to see some more DIY videos like this, please comment, hit the like button, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. Say hi to the camera. Hide it anywhere. Look at this thing. Cute puppy. Puppy power. Hi. Hi! 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 Oh, you gonna sniff it now? Yeah! It's cool, right? So yes, cool air! It's the best! I cannot stay cold! Okay! <laughs>